everybody. So I'm heading to physical therapy and then after physical therapy, I will be heading to my cardiologist appointment. So I can inform you on those as I go. Um, hopefully things go in my favor today. I don't know. We'll see. Wish me luck. Bye. Hello. So I'm heading to the cardiologist now. I just finished up with my physical therapy. So with physical therapy, we, it, I'm going to physical therapy for like the trigger points and for my neck and to try to help with that pain. And my physical therapist, I love her. She ended up like working on my neck a lot and I guess it was like super tight, but she asked if she could do this thing called cupping. And essentially what she did was she stuck these cups on my sh like back that like sucked in part of the skin, like the muscle and like, I guess to help to relieve tension. And uh, she was warning me that it could hurt because all that pressure, um, it wasn't bad actually. It hurt a little bit in the beginning and then it kind of like relaxed itself out. So I'm hoping it works. She said I'll probably get bruises there, but that's fine. Um, and then she put some of that uh, K tape, like the Kinesio tape on my neck. She wants me to work on my posture. I know I have really bad posture after the accident. It just became easier to like hunch. Um, and now I'm so used to it that it actually hurts to have good posture. So that's interesting. So yeah, that's, that's how physical therapy went. So I will be heading into the cardiologist appointment and then I will tell you how it goes on my way home. All right, everybody. So I'm heading home I'm on the highway right now. And uh, if I pause, it's just because I'm, I'm trying to focus on the road. That's also why I'm not looking at you. Essentially, I was telling the doctor about like how exhausted I've been and how my heart feels like it's racing too fast and I can't keep up with it. And about how I get really dizzy and all this like, these issues that I'm essentially having. And she, asked uh, it was a different doctor today that I usually see so but she works with like my doctor like they're in the same office and she had mentioned that she wanted to put another halter monitor on my chest which is like great and all but I can't shower till tomorrow and I really wanted to shower today so I'm, I'm I hate that I hate when I like I'm on like day two so I shower every other day I don't like waiting um it makes me feel gross like greasy like my because I you know my son's hands are in my hair I'm just, just mm, 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 I feel weird so now I have to wait but we're gonna do the halter monitor and then she wants me to potentially see a neurologist again obviously I have a neurologist I well actually I don't have a neurologist because my neurologist doesn't take my insurance so I need a new one but they're gonna like check if I have like dysautonomia <clears throat> so they're essentially gonna see about that she said that there's no real test that she can do but maybe we can contact our neurologist for that so we'll see um i don't know i'm just really tired i just want to get home and go see my boy i also want to eat some lunch because i'm starving yes cut me off kind sir you got so far so yeah i have to wear this halter monitor for three days so i'll be wearing it till Thursday afternoon. She said that I can keep it on till Saturday if I want. I don't think I'm going to do that because like I can shower tomorrow, but I have to face away from the shower and I have to put a bag over it. I'm not looking forward to the stress that I'm going to have to go through to try to shower just because like I have to, if it gets like wet and I damage it, like that's a $300 device and you know, I don't really want to keep it. So whatever. She said she'll call me to, to tell me about like when I'll see her again, or him, if I'm seeing my other doctor, uh, like my main doctor. More testing, more suffering. I'm going to call the CT again this week because, you know, God forbid I don't call them. Like they first told me like they'll call me, but now it's been weeks. And when I call them, they have no answers. I don't know what the problem is because the insurance already approved it, but they're waiting for something else. I just, I'm about to just not do it call it a day oh i love my hair look at how cute that is just sticking up i'm going crazy and i don't take care of myself it looks great it's just great maria just great you look great
I blame it on lying down at the doctor's office. I can't stop yawning. I can't get comfortable. When I drive, like, my ribs really hurt. So, that's fun. And it was so funny, the doctor, she was like, so you have this issue? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, and you have this issue? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, and you have this issue? And I was like, yeah. So she was like, I feel so bad. And I was like, yeah. I miss my boy. I just want to go home to him. He's teething and he's getting allergies and it's just driving me up the wall because like he's obviously suffering and I feel bad for him for that. At the same time, it's it's more driving me up the wall because I can't fix it. Like I have this like nose sucker. It sucks out all the snot, but it's like clear. So I know he's not sick, but the thing is, is like when he tries to breathe in, he still sounds like he's congested. So I think he's like inflamed and like I can't really fix that with any of the tools I have. And then he's drooling like crazy. And I'm trying to, you know, dry him up, like pat him dry. But now his eczema is getting really bad around his face again. And um, it's just, it's rough. Like he doesn't want to eat. He won't let me brush his teeth. I still brush it, but it's, it's like a war. I feel bad. I don't like when he cries to brush teeth. He's just, he's suffering. I feel bad for my boy. I just want to go cuddle him. That's all I want to do. Cuddle my sweet little squish and forget that I'm sick all the time. My allergies are acting up too today. Oh, and the, the, the doctor said she, I have like, I don't get enough salt. I'm like extremely low on salt. And I have like low blood pressure. And she was like, why don't you, like she goes for now, just like increase the salt intake. And I'm like, I'm trying, like I take in salt. And I go, this is just like what happened when I was pregnant with my son. And they kept saying, increase the water. And I was drinking a lot of water and eating a lot of like watermelon and anything that could give me like that type of like hydration and I was still so dehydrated that like the hospitals didn't want to release me even after giving me two liters of IV fluid like my body just doesn't seem to want to take anything up so it's just like that with the salt and it's really aggravating I've been told about the salt problem before I genuinely hate salt um salty food salty you know anything like that but I've been trying to incorporate more salt like I have pretzels like they told me to do and, um, you know, still, nothing helping. So, it sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let me finish driving, and then if I think of anything else to say, I'll say when I get home.